Hi, I'm Pisa Haddock and I'm inside the facility here at Amman in Italy with Carlo Adami. Um, you are a very clever person, Carlo, <laughs> because you head up a team of engineers that are really changing the way in which the asphalt industry works. Your challenge is to reduce emissions, make things greener, but also make things more productive and efficient. And there's two things you've brought out recently that are real innovations. Tell me a little bit about the first one when we're talking about blue smoke as such, folks, which everybody knows in the industry. As you mentioned, the, the blue smoke, uh, we call it the BST because uh, for us uh, it's a blue smoke treatment. And the blue smoke are the gas that uh, comes out from the load trucking in the asphalt plant production. And uh, we developed during the last years this uh, solution that uh, uh, where we have also a patent on it that uh, are able to uh, treat the blue smoke in a different way compared to other manufacturers. Right. Uh, the big idea is to use the thermal energy of the gas that uh, for their normal condition go on, on the top of the plants. Yep. And we use this solution that we call indirect aspiration to increase the velocity of the gas that uh, by their energy go on the top of the plant. And we catch this gas just on the top of these parts. We developed also a filter, a multi-stage filter to treat this gas. And uh, with this uh, uh, multi-stage filtration, we are able to re remove all droplet of oil that is content into okay. this gas and of course uh, uh, well, these droplets are possible to be collected on the top and uh, used uh, for different uh, use different application or uh, trade in the right way concerning to the di different uh, region uh, low uh, application the gas that is coming outside from this multi-stage filtration is possible to be reburned, so we do a trait, um, combustion treatment mm -hmm. of this gas, and uh, uh, in this way we are able to reduce uh, as much as possible the VOC content into this gas. This is just a clever way of using the asphalt plant that you've yeah. got to treat itself. Yeah. It's almost like self-healing of some of the emissions that, that come out from the plant and you know when we're looking at emissions like that you know with, with different treatment systems you know putting more energy into that is is actually using more energy anyway so exactly. once you've got that whole sort of recycling process and capture process you know you're fundamentally changing the way in which an asphalt plant can run but also where we can put these plants people in different emission zones and different emission places now have an option to say look here we can prove to reduce our carbon impact but also not have to pay any additional charges and things like that as well which is really important isn't it when you look at the overall cost uh, yes. of, of doing something like that the BST have the possibility to be installed on different plant, not only Amman plant, right. with uh, not a uh, high cost, uh, extra cost for yep. the application. And uh, we focused our development on this part. So that's really important for me, uh, folks, because when people are in a vicinity, you know, it is our duty of care as an industry to yes. make sure we, re we reduce yes. the impact of, you know, exactly. of, of plants being in different places. So. That's brilliant as well to, to understand. And I think from, from my perspective, you also mentioned VOC. Now that's new to me, folks, and you're gonna to have to explain that, that one to me as well, because there's another part of the innovation process, isn't it? When, when you're talking I, VOC, what is it, folks? <laughs> you mentioned the VOC that uh, is one of the um, first emission that uh, all plant manufacturers uh, want to reduce with VOC, we mean uh, uh, volatile organic compounds that is a part of uh, the hydrocarbon that uh, is uh, inside the emission. Right. And uh, if we want to have uh, a green plant, we yep. need to reduce uh, as much as possible this emission. Okay. So what have we done then to reduce that VOC and, and, and how is that working? How has that reduced the, the VOC overall? We developed a new machine new for uh, for the world. So right. only Amman have a solution like this because 
we invested a lot of uh, time uh, in this research. And now we have the possibility to use a machine that we call it VRD. Yep. Like uh, it means uh, volatile uh, VOC reduction device. We are able to trade uh, the complete emission of an asphalt plant. And with this machine, we are able to reduce uh, the, TU the VOC uh, roughly around 70%. Right. So it's a, a really uh, big, uh, big step for the VOC reduction. And I think when you're looking at those sort of figures, folks, that's a huge amount of reduction, you know, and therefore, you know, we've got two solutions there yes. that really are tackling the yes. critical problems around you know, emissions from plants like this. And, you know, okay. the, the difference as well, folks, for me is what's really exciting is they can be retrofitted yes. to plants, not just the Amman plants, but other plants across the globe as well, can't they? That's right. This is two great solutions and uh, we have the possibility to trade the emission from the two end side of the plant. So during the discharge of the asphalt on the truck yep. and at the chimney, just in the end of the process of the asphalt plant production. So here we are, folks. We are here in Italy where there's some very, very clever people that are doing a lot. But the Aman Group as well has uh, engineers that you work with across the globe in lots of different regions, all looking yeah. at some of the challenges, you know, that we face here in, in Europe, but also in, in hot countries like the Middle East yeah. and cold environments as well. And so it's great to see that these solutions can be put together. And there's a focus there from you to reduce emissions overall. Absolutely. Lots and lots of research and development over a number of years. And, you know, normally you'd expect people to be looking at the plant itself, but you've looked at how you can discover how to take the emissions and get rid of up to 70% of the VOC, but also, tr you know, transform the way people are no longer going to see blue folks. And for me, all of that helps us to have a much more sustainable world, much more sustainable environment, and also make sure that we also have enough asphalt, folks, to make sure we get rid of all those potholes and make some new roads. Cheers. Nice Many to see thanks. you.